Greetings and welcome back once again to the gallery. I am the host and curator, Robert Cooper. Guess what, everybody? This episode is not going to feature any list on what you can be doing during your self-imposed quarantines. This weekend, I went to the photo center of the Capitol District here in Troy, New York. This show features student photographers from colleges and high school within a hundred miles of Troy, New York. Now, although I wasn't able to speak to any of the students in the show, I did speak to the owner of the photo center, Nicholas Argyros. Nick explained the process they go through in deciding what photos they're going to use for the student show. He also talks about how students can benefit from having their photos in this particular show. So sit back and enjoy this interview with Nick for this episode of The Gallery. Hi, my name is Nick Argyros and I own and operate the Photography Center of the Capital District in Troy, New York. This is our gallery where we currently have an annual student exhibition hanging on the wall. Uh, the student show is an annual affair that's open to students in colleges and high schools within a hundred mile radius of the Capital District. We started the student show when we first opened the Photography Center, which is now uh, 14 years ago. We have, uh, I think, 20 or 22 different students. We have 60 images on the wall uh, from these, these students. Most students have one image selected. Uh, some students have two or three images of their submissions out of four submissions that were selected for the exhibition. We have St. Rose students, we have Sage College students, Marist College students, and Union and RPI are represented with one student each also. Union and RPI do not have specific photography courses and a program in arts that is extensive enough, but the other colleges do, plus about a uh, goodly number of students are from Niskayuna High School. That's the one high school that participated this year. We have previously had other local high schools, but not this year. But we place no limits, no subject matter limits. Uh, we only want them to have a time limit that they should have made the pictures within the last couple of years while they were students. I think it gives students some feedback and some recognition. I think what's important is that uh, they might get independent feedback beyond their own high school or college instructor. Very often some students might try to imitate uh, the style or what they think the instructor might want because after all they would like to get an A in the course uh, and that might drive the type of work that they're going to do they, they want to find work that will be acceptable to their instructors. Well, uh, we want to give yet a different uh, opinion uh, of what gets selected from amongst their submissions and what might get awarded with a prize. We also give $500 in, in cash awards uh, to a selected few, usually $50 a piece for 10 of the students. Uh, who are on exhibit. We used to have a People's Choice Award. Uh, what happened with, in prior years with the students People's Choice Award is the students who had families within the area could have their family come in here, brothers, sisters, parents, and, and their friends, and they would stuff the ballot box. I shouldn't say stuff, it wasn't anything artificial, but they of course would include in their selection of their top votes for People's Choice, they would include their students or friends work. But the students who were far away, college students who uh, were, did not have regional representation with family, 
they got short short changed in the People's Choice Award. So we stopped doing that a couple of years ago. Uh, thanks to our intern, Rosina Torres, the Facebook page, Photo Center Troy, our Facebook page, uh, she assembled all the pictures except a couple and put them up on our Facebook page. Uh, and so the entire exhibit can be viewed on, on uh, the Facebook page. Online we are photocentertroy.org or www.photocentertroy.org. Uh, that's our website and we try to keep it up to date with the latest exhibit. Now that restrictions are finally loosening up, I am excited to be able to get back to putting this show back in the direction that I had intended for from the beginning. I plan on highlighting more exhibits and more galleries and look out for interviews with other photographers coming up in the near future. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and follow me on Instagram at rcooperphotography. And finally, head on over to my brand new website, robertcoopermedia.com for all things Robert Cooper photography related. Thank you very much. Bless the love.